Have you ever wondered how the top tech giant's algorithms work and why they push certain content over others? Why they seem to know what you enjoy so much and the potential social and economic implications behind these algorithms? Well, if you do, stay tuned to find out more. Before I continue with the video, be sure to like this video for more content and subscribe, turning on post notifications. Algorithms is a colloquial umbrella term for this technology. The more scientific term is recommendation algorithms or recommender systems. So, what are recommender systems? Recommender systems can be defined as an algorithm tool which is used to suggest online items to users in order to improve a user's online experience. Here are a couple of online applications which make use of recommendation algorithms. These include Amazon, Netflix, Instagram, Spotify and YouTube. These algorithms work by collecting vast amounts of data from users in order to make inferences on other items they may enjoy. Hence, recommender systems are a subfield of machine learning. The benefits of applying recommendation systems and personalization algorithms is immense, including boosting online engagement, increasing the likelihood of returning customers, allowing users to browse content on, on their platform easier, Users can stay on for longer if they're more engaged. Businesses can increase sales and overall this increases a business's competitiveness and customer loyalty. It can be argued that recommender systems have a mutual benefit for both the business making use of these algorithms and the consumer. Recommendation algorithms allow businesses to pinpoint the wants and needs of their consumers to know how best to target these individuals. Boosting relative KPIs such as product sales, if an e-commerce store, or user engagement, such as item views and the time spent on the platform. Recommender systems also benefit consumers. The World Wide Web is a very fast and contains a lot of information that is overwhelming for a user to consume without the aid of recommender systems. These systems filter out information automatically so that the most relevant information on the internet is presented to the user. This makes web navigation easier and faster for an individual. However, like many other technologies, there are a lot of things that a business should consider whilst developing a recommendation algorithm. Such considerations include how data will be collected, and this should be an adherence to privacy laws such as the Data Privacy Act and GDPR, if in the UK and EU, what data is collected, Consider Netflix. Relevant data to be collected can include the time spent watching certain product items, user search history, and the user's rating of individual titles. And how data will be processed to produce recommendations. What models would a firm use? This can range from filtration techniques and more advanced processes such as neural networks and deep learning. They should also consider the benefits and drawbacks of recommender systems. Businesses should consider the moral, ethical and cultural implications of their recommender systems. For example, social media applications such as Twitter and Facebook have come under scrutiny in the past over claims that their recommendation algorithms have pushed inappropriate content such as fake news and political agendas, which may have skewed democratic votes such as the 2016 US presidential elections and Brexit votes for the UK to leave the EU. All of these topics will be explored throughout this upcoming series. Remember to subscribe to be notified when each episode is released. A useful prerequisite for this series would be some basic understanding of linear algebra, such as matrix factorization and scalar products and Euclid Euclidean distances, etc., as well as statistics, including probability and statistical distributions. That will be all for this introductory video. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll tune in for the next episode.